All right, what we're going to do in this tutorial is just review how to multiply numbers with decimals in them using the standard algorithm. Let's start with 75 hundredths multiplied by 24. Now, another way to say 75 hundredths is 3 quarters, and 3 quarters of 24 is 18. So I know mentally this answer should be 18. Because when you have anything that is referring to quarters, it just means you break something into four parts. And because 0.75 is equal to 3 quarters, we would divide 24 into four pieces, which would be six, and then we would multiply that by three, which is 18. But let's just apply the standard algorithm just to confirm that our answer is 18. So we have four times five is 20, and then we carry our two up here, and we have four times seven, which is 28, plus two more is 30. So we put a zero, and because this is a zero, we really do not have to carry our three. We can just write our three down here. Now that we are finished with this place value, we place a zero directly below it just to signify that we have finished that place value. Now, we have to multiply 2 times 5, which is 10, and then we carry the 1, and then we multiply 2 times 7, which is 14, plus 1 more is 15. So we put a 5 here, carry a 1 here, and then we do 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 1 more is 1. And now we have to add these digits together. This column is 0, 0, 8, and 1. Now, if we look at the problem in this value right here, we have two place values after this decimal right here. This number does not contain any decimals. So we do not have any place values after the decimal. So we would say in the problem altogether, we have a total of two place values, which should be the same in your answer. So the only place that would be true would be by placing the decimal in this position. So we have two place values after it. So you can see that 0.75 times 24 is 18. All right, let's go to 64 multiplied by 2.5 or 2.5. So we have 5 times 4 is 20, carry the 2, and 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2 more is 32, and we have completed this place value, so we put a 0 in that position, and then we multiply 2 times 4, which is 8, and then 2 times 6, which is 12, and we add these digits together to get our total. We have 0 in this column, we have 10 in this column, we have 6 in this column, and 1 in this column. And in our problem, we have one decimal point and only one place value after that decimal, which means our decimal should be placed right here in our answer. So 64 times 2.5 is 160. Okay, let's go to this problem, which is 4 and 2 tenths multiplied by 8 hundredths. So we're going to multiply 8 times 2, which is 16. We carry the 1. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 1 more is 33. And the next digit is a 0, so we do not have to multiply this by anything, because we would just have a bunch of zeros, and there's no point in adding nothing to 336. Now in the problem, we have two decimal points. And after this decimal point, we have one place value, and after this decimal point, we have two place values for a total of one, two, three place values. So we go to our answer down here, and then we move to the left, one, two, three place values. And there's nothing in front of this decimal, so we can just stick a zero there if we want to. So four and two tenths multiplied by eight hundredths is 336 thousandths. All right, so that was just a little review on how you multiply numbers containing decimals. Hey, I just want to say thanks very much for checking out my math video. Please subscribe to my channel so when I upload new math videos, you can become informed as they become available. 